Hi, this is Scott Varlick, Coima, Coima Varlick Trading in Sioux Center, Iowa. Trying to digest the news that continues to come out, you know, by the minute, trying to keep a close eye on what's happening overseas. What does a war mean to the ag commodities? And and, and the trade in the futures markets are completely wild. We've got grains moving straight up, but, but having wild swings moving lower. Um, so the volatility is at its peak and uncertainty is, uh, is reigning over the markets. Uh, with Ukraine dragging on, the longer it drags on, uh, the more fear of a shortage of grain. If you know they're a top three and four exporter in corn and wheat, uh, it's going to change the world markets and everybody's looking elsewhere for some grain. So the longer this sustains, you start to really wonder. So that, that's why the futures have rallied as sharp as they are. And, and nobody understands how high they could go or if maybe the high is even in. So it's a, it's a lot of question when we're trying to buy feed. Uh, that's why the, the thing I can say the most is just protect yourself. Know where your risks are and, and what we need to be uh, covering, what could really hurt you or, or not. Because I think speculating on, on some of these markets, you know, the, the larger trades that you just, you know, maybe we're used to doing that maybe is getting a back seat just a little bit as we look at our own risks and where we're at because there's so much that could happen because we know that the other side of some of these markets will be just as swift as when they went up, if not quicker. If, if some if a reason would happen that these grains say that the top is in could be limit down for a few days before it even lets somebody exit the market so that that risk is there keep that in your mind that you're trying to protect yourself what can i do to to help myself rather than going in with that greedy attitude i think that's going to be a a tougher way to trade cattle traded a lot weaker here on thursday and uh it's nine out of ten days lower uh, trade on the live cattle, which is a little bit spooky. We don't feel like we're overrun with numbers. Um, the one thing to look at in the upfront market is that with corn rallying so sharp, you've got $8 cash corn in the south. They're not going to hold out for higher cash trade. They're interested in getting their cattle moved, moving them through because uh, putting that high price feed into them, you know, it's going to slow them down a little bit as far as price wise. So so we're more, more willing to sell cattle in the upfront. That uh, That can hurt right away but it does set up for the long term as you do start to take some pounds off if we start selling them lighter. Carcass weights don't prove that we're selling them much lighter yet. We're still over a year ago or back to over a year ago on carcass weights, so there's still plenty of pounds out there. It looks like to me we've got a good 30 days here right up in the front where we clean up the cattle that need to be cleaned up. And we feel like the numbers are tighter moving ahead throughout the year, that there's going to be some, some optimism happening in the cattle industry. I don't think anybody's running around saying, sell, 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 this thing's too high, because I don't think that the numbers are there, and there's going to be a need for the packer to want to come off the cattle. And that is if our demand stays good and rock solid, because you never know what's going to happen with, is it going to be World War III? Is this going to end quick? You know, because domestic demand is where the beef lives, uh, the, the demand. So we rely on what's happening in this country as far as beef demand goes and, you know, that uncertainty. Okay, will we have a recession? Will there be a war? Is it going to affect people wanting to go out and eat? So that's our major risk. The supply side doesn't feel like that's the risk in the cattle industry. So a lot to chew on here. Things are moving quick by the minute. So uh, hang in there, guys, and be careful. The risk of loss in trading futures and or options is substantial.